I have to hurry up and get out of here. I just wanted to show you guys this fantastic view. So I'm currently dealing with homelessness. Um, I got in trouble for sleeping and my storage locker. This is all going on for years now. Um, the original case began in 2015. Um, and I have literally been being followed and stalked by random people. I don't know who they are. They've never identified themselves as law enforcement uh, since that time. I have videos on videos on videos on videos um, on photos on discs on cell phones of this ongoing um, torture but back to here one of my friends one of my good friends thank you so much Matt uh, got me a room last night and look at the view look at this So beautiful. It's just so creepy that there's no one in any of the apartments. There's no activity anywhere around. If you know Chicago, this is not traffic in Chicago. I mean, we're usually cars on bumper on bumper on bumper on all these streets. So there's definitely a lot of weird shit going down. Um, but I got to get out of here. I didn't know if I was going to have the room for another night. Um, but they said no, that I do not have it for another night. So it's back to the drawing board. I'm really honestly so sick of it. Like, again, just to reiterate, just to catch everyone up, I had my own house um, and apartment since I was 14, 15. I've been working, um, you know, kind of very independent. Um, my knife was also stolen. I have a pocket knife that I paid for um, that was taken out of my wallet. Well, maybe it's in my pocket. Let me check. Where's my coat? So anyways, I found it, my bad. Um, but yeah, I've been dealing with this shit for the longest time. Nothing seems to change. Like I get a little reprieve and I like take it all in and be so grateful. But overall, um, it's pretty much just been the same if, if anything gotten worse. Um, the court systems are completely shut down. They have not been reopened. Um, <clears throat> it's just a bunch of bullshit so I really don't know what to do they intentionally isolated my children from me prior to all of this going down so now I have kids in the city and in the state so I can't leave either one um, and I won't leave either one and they know it and um this is just for the record, you know, so that I have notes of what's going on with me. Um, I've been gaslit so many times, and if you don't know what gaslighting means, it's when someone deliberately discredits your experience, says that what you were going through is not true and never happened, etc., and so forth, um, to try to make you feel crazy. I do save all of these recordings. It's the only place I really have to save everything. And quite frankly, the only thing that's been saving my life and keeping me alive this far. Um, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I'm going to keep you with me while I leave. Um, so yeah, so it's like, this is what I face on a daily. Even when I find a solution for today... Um, or like last night, like I'm so grateful I come in. I'm like, oh my God, I feel normal again. I have a nice place to stay. It's safe. It's beautiful. You know, um, and then I go to sleep. Um, I wake up with the exact same problem. Where am I going to sleep tonight? What am I going to do? 
I've applied to countless jobs that I'm super overqualified for. I mean, way overqualified for. Um, and I've not gotten any responses. I've had about five or six jobs in the past year, but they all came from word of mouth. So like a friend referral. And they were all pretty much temporary. Um, like one was a seasonal bartending job, but they end so abruptly. So like, they'll say to me like, oh my God, you're doing so great. Thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. And then like the next morning I get an email from them and they're like, um, never mind, we found someone else. And I'm like, wait, what? And so I've responded back like, hey, can you please just let me know? Am I doing something wrong? Is you know everything okay? What can I do? And uh, you know, what can I do differently or how can I make it better? And um, I just don't get anywhere, you know? I get nowhere. They don't really give me any feedback. They don't tell me, like, what I did or didn't do. They just kind of leave it as is. So it's a frustrating set of circumstances that I want, um, like I said, to just keep on the record um, so that I can be sure... I have an understanding of everything that's taken place. When you have these events like this going down on a daily or weekly basis over six or seven years, it becomes extremely difficult to keep track um, and stressful. So I have all my little journals and notebooks and calendars and whatnot um, now I, uh, I don't have a record. I have no record. So somebody wrote, I help people seal or clear their record. That's very generous of you. I have no criminal record. I have never been in trouble before. Um, little shit. I think I got a drinking ticket. But that's it. Um, other than that, I have no criminal record at all whatsoever. None. So I, <clears throat> I make it a habit to definitely not get in trouble. I'm not a criminal. I don't do crimes. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. But thank you. I'm a muscular being. I'm not like a string bean, you know. I'm not giant, but I'm five, like nine or eight. Who knows? And about um, 165 pounds right now. Um, with that being said, hold on one second. But yesterday I got a burger and two pieces of chicken breast, and it was I think 30 bucks and a beverage and four bars, protein bars. And it was 30 bucks. So if you have $130 for the entire month of food and $30 is being spent on two. Thank you so much. I think so too. Um, but I've been busting my ass in the gym, which is, you know, how many people do you know who have nowhere to live who, you know, make it a habit to go to the gym every day and, and work out every day. And it's just, I'm proud of myself. I could, I don't, I don't think I could be doing any better than I am. Um, I've literally done any and everything possible to stabilize my situation on my own. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm owed a ginormous debt. Um, I've been robbed. I've been tossed around. They called me residual damage to their case. Um, I never made any agreement to work with anyone. I have no criminal record. I've never been in trouble before. They're forcing me to stay out here uh, against my will. I don't know who is doing it or who's responsible, but the entire city of Chicago is fucked. I don't know where everyone's at. I mean, you can see, like, look, there's probably 10 cars in the roadway. Like I said before, this is not typical Chicago. Chicago is bumper to bumper traffic. There are people everywhere typically. Um, something is not right. I'm in downtown Chicago. So, and if you guys saw my post from yesterday, I was at DePaul. And I'm at DePaul, and DePaul is uh, a really busy college campus, you know, in Chicago. And I'm there at, like, I want to say it was 9.15 in the morning. And there's, like, two students on the entire campus. Just so weird. Even the Starbucks and, like, the little restaurants in the area are completely empty. Um, 
it's very worrisome. It's just not right. Something is weird. And we can continue to say it's a pandemic. But, I mean, if people are just ill and sick and not feeling well, um, you know, that would be being promoted that the schools were still closed and that the businesses were still closed. Everything is open, wide open. There's just no people. Where the fuck is everyone? You know what I mean? It's so weird. Is anyone noticing that in your state or is that just an Illinois, um, Chicago thing? Tell me what's going on, guys. And I, you know, I kind of go back and forth. I, I go to Rosemont pretty frequently to the casino. Um, when I'm up very late at night with nowhere to go, that's like a good place. It's open 24 hours a day. Um, people are so friendly. I go to Rivers. I absolutely love them there. It's so great there. The food is delicious. They knew that I was kind of having a tough time and they gave me 20 or 30 bucks on my player's card. I got a player's card. I was so proud of myself. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm just checking in. I'm doing the best that I can under the circumstances. Um, I'm fine mentally. I am completely overwhelmed um, in a lot of regard, in a lot of different areas regarding my, my family. I miss them. I want to get back to them. Um, but the way is not going to be for this shit to be swept under the rug like I did something wrong. I'm going to wait <clears throat> very humbly for the people in positions of authority who allowed this to get this way to apologize, to take responsibility and accountability. Um, I didn't put myself in the street. Um, you know, like I said, I've worked, I've held a job since I was 15 years old. I was put into the street in January of 2020 and that is where I have been ever since. I've exhausted every penny that I've saved um, on Airbnbs and hotels. Um, that was an unlawful eviction. So I have contacted so many housing resources, homelessness resources. No one seems to be able to kind of um, direct me or provide me with any solutions. Hello. Good, how are you? Um, you know, and for that, I'm, I'm, I'm a little hurt, <laughs> but I don't take it personally. You know, people have their own set of priorities, which I understand. Um, but now it's time for them to take responsibility for that. And, uh, I'm tired of suffering because of the choices that these people have made. You don't get to force me you know, an innocent person, an innocent party to do your dirty work for you and take no responsibility and then tell my friends in the streets that it was me. It wasn't me. It's never been me, ever. People are starting to find that out now. And <clears throat> for that, I'm truly grateful. But uh, I just wanted to check in, you guys. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. Not really sure where the day is going to take us, um, but I'm sure it'll be exciting. I was thinking about going out tonight to Tao. I got a beautiful skirt, super cute. Hello, um, and uh, I'm excited. It's a size zero. Yes, that's right. I said it zero, and it fits me in the waist. That means my waist is a size zero. If it was supposed to sit on the hips, it's like my my hips are a size six, and my waist is a size zero. Oh, look at this tour boat! So beautiful, beautiful day. But look, like I said, look, we got nothing, no traffic, no people, nothing. It's empty. Where is everyone? You know. So I'm still waiting, like I said. I'm still waiting, waiting, waiting for those, whoever they were. Um, I don't know if they're officers. I don't know if they're agents. To man up. Take responsibility for what they did to me. Um, apologize in the, in the least. And help me, you know. I need help. I don't need mental help. I don't need 
you know, help with tying my shoes or learning my A, B fucking C's. I need help with everything you stole from me, with my home, with my money, with my family. That's what I need help with. So I haven't given up. I will never give up. There's always hope. Um, Again, I'm always screen recording. I'm always saving my videos. I suggest you do the same. Anyone who's being played, keep your notes, keep your receipts. Um, This shit has been going on for far too long and there are responsible parties who need to take accountability for what they've done. Um, All right. I love you guys. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. I'll see you guys later.